thought he'd make it to a point in space and time where he ain't seen it. I was trying to make it, I was trying to make it, I was trying to make it, I was trying to make it. Said he yeah, got that shit that you should listen to. Fuck the fake shit. Greatness is what I'm giving you. Shout out to the ancestors. Shout out to the ancestors. Um, I would. I just want to really get this video started by saying, if you not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my page right now, please and thank you. I will really appreciate it. Um, I want to let you know and keep you informed on stuff. So it's best that you subscribe. How else, how else is you gonna get this education from Sad Yet if you don't press the subscribe button? Alright? Um it's Thanksgiving time, y'all. And I was at uh getting my haircut or whatever at the barbershop. And um, you know, everybody we all talking or whatnot and I, you know how you know how niggas is. We all everybody wanna talk about what they finna eat, getting ready to eat or whatnot. And I make a remark and I say, uh, I ain't eating on that day. I'm fast. So, you know, uh that that was funny to niggas and niggas swerved, oh you lying, but you you gonna you gonna eat some food on Thanksgiving. No, I'm not. I won't. I I I won't. I'm you gonna see me eating food the day after Thanksgiving. You might see me eating food the day before Thanksgiving. I might not eat food for them for the whole of three days everybody wanna be cooking this shit. I might as well not even eat none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It just be good. Don't get me wrong. I know that I, this shit be good. I ain't talking about uh, the the pork chops and, and the greens with the pork in it. I ain't talking about nothing that got pork in it. Y'all need to y'all need to know right now. Y'all need to leave the fucking pork alone. Leave the pig alone. Leave the oink alone. Not for religious purposes, but for health reasons. All right, that shit's killing you. It's Thanksgiving. Y'all y'all people's right now. As I'm saying this shit, cleaning chitlins right now. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in your family right now got a big ass stinky bucket of chitlins and they cleaning that shit off. And I'm not being a hypocrite because I didn't ate the shit before too, but it's time to change. You know what I'm saying? They, they, this is a holiday created by some motherfuckers who took land from my ancestors and I'm not finna shut the fuck up about it this Thanksgiving. I think every motherfucking day of this month I need to be telling somebody about it because uh, everybody seems so happy, you know what I'm saying, about this shit. And on top of that, Christmas coming too, so... Uh, I want to re relate his message that I got from someone called 13th Son. And he just made this uh, comment. He was like, if every, if we saved our money from, let's say, Christmas. No, no I'm going to start at Halloween. If, we save, if you saved all the money that you spend during Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Fuck it. Let's throw Easter in the bucket too. Easter, Valentine's Day. St. Patrick's, let's let's just throw all the holidays in the bucket. All the money you spend on the holidays. That's that's enough to fucking probably buy a car right there. Whoop de doo, it's a car. I ain't just saying it's a car though. It's not just any car. It depends on how much you spend on them holidays because a lot of y'all motherfuckers got uh romance for certain holidays, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a certain holiday will come around and you just all in the spirit. Now why you think they call it in the spirit? No, I'm not in the Thanksgiving spirit because, or shall I say I am? I am in the Thanksgiving spirit because this is the spirit we need to have towards Thanksgiving, which is fuck it. I made two videos called Fuck Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to go in just on Thanksgiving. That's just the season. So, you know, I felt necessary that um, I say fuck Thanksgiving as much as possible. Said, yeah, why are you saying fuck Thanksgiving? Because the land that I'm fucking on was taken, okay, taken However the fuck you want to say it, I mispronounce it. Yeah, I said this shit wrong all I want. But just know, this shit was tooken. And you just chilling. We just lounging on this shit like it ain't nothing wrong with it. It's something wrong with it, all right? And not just that. Mm, the people who they took it from, they killed the chiefs. They killed the kings and queens and kept the kids as slaves sent the kids to schools called like schools okay i ain't even gonna get on the subject of that they they sent them to schools and taught them bullshit and told them they was from africa told them they was immigrants i right? told them they was from african americans gave them a bible okay turned them into christians made christians just made some motherfuckers some christians all right then them them them, them kids had kids and told the same shit to their kids. 
And then them kids told the same shit to their kids. Then them kids told the same shit to their kids. And then them kids told it to their kids, who was our grandmas, who told it to their kids, which is our parents, who told it to us. And is we going to keep this shit going? You going to keep this shit going? Like, you really going to really keep this shit going? Yo, you can tell the kids, you can tell the kids for real, for real what's really going on and, and let them choose whether they want to partake, uh, partake in it. But we don't do that. We make kids celebrate these dumbass holidays, and we don't give no, we don't give them no history for real on them at all. Like we just make them celebrate that shit. I remember every Thanksgiving I ate, but my family. But this one thing I do pay attention to, as far as uh, the melanated community or just or good-hearted people, not just melanated people, but good-hearted people. I'm gonna stop doing it because there's some fucked up melanated beings out there. Just because you got melanin don't mean everything. It don't mean you righteous. But look, check me out. When you are giving thanks, that's cool. You being thankful. But be thankful all year long. Be thankful all the fucking time. Every time you eat a meal, every time you eat a meal, the thought in your head should be like, okay, I'm thankful for this food that I'm receiving. Not just because you're thankful, but you need to be thanking the actual food. See, what a lot of people don't know is fruits and vegetables, when you eat them in the right form, which is alive, they have consciousness. So you can actually thank that piece of food for it giving you energy that it's a that it's about to give you or for it for it for it giving you a uh, vital life and and the and the and the food will actually be better for you if you did that all right it would be happy to it would be happy to 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 sacrifice itself to you to the gods you know what i'm saying but you don't know this do your research everything has consciousness inside of it scientists did a research where they hooked up shit to shit and on a graph it showed a response when it was being observed, it lets you know that it has consciousness. But anyways, that's a whole other story. I'm just trying to get y'all to pay attention to the fact that on holidays, certain times we 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 tend to get in the spirit, and you got to be careful when you get in the spirit. It's okay to be thankful on Thanksgiving, but it's not okay to be. It's not okay if you're not thankful all year round. It's not okay to celebrate thanks the holiday Thanksgiving. The the pilgrims coming over and the the pilgrims and the Indians being cool and eating together. No. No, any motherfucking quote unquote Indian that was chilling with a motherfucking pilgrim. If I was back then, I would have been a nigga in the woods with a bow and arrow trying to take his motherfucking head off. But anyways, Christmas time, Christmas. I ain't gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break all these down possibly, but I really, it's all been broken down before. You can do your research. I'm just trying to uh, spark that thought in your head to let you know, you know what, this nigga right. I'm finna uh, look look into this shit like I'm grown. Why am I still celebrating this shit blindly? When you a kid, you celebrate holidays blindly. Your mom buy you gifts and shit. You really don't ask no questions. You just want them damn gifts. You don't give a fuck about Santa Claus and you damn sure don't give a fuck about Jesus' birthday. You want the gifts. You Thanksgiving, you don't give a fuck about the pilgrims or the Indians. You want the food. A lot of niggas don't care about the pilgrims or the Indians. Like, like I said, shut the fuck up and eat, nigga. You gonna eat. You just wanna eat. Fucking uh, gluttony. That's what it is. But anyways, New Year's. This is a Gregorian calendar. Why the fuck is y'all turning up on New Year's? This is not the, the mark of a new year. Not for real. This is a Gregorian calendar. Get the fuck off. Get in tune. Get in tune. Uh, get in tune in the mind. I ain't even talking about financial. Because niggas like said, you ain't got no money. Said he had you broke as hell. You, you in the same boat I'm in. Fuck what you talking about. I, I got money, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I work. Just like you work. We in the belly of the motherfucking beast, nigga. No amount of money you have is no different than me having $2. Because it's all fucking fiats and promissory notes. I'm, I, I, like, I usually say commissary notes and shit on some tweak and shit. But man, it's all fake, though. It's all fiats. It's not real, nigga. It's IOUs. So all you niggas out who, all, everybody out there who think y'all doing something because you got money, you ain't. That shit ain't for real. This shit finna crash real soon. This shit finna crash real soon. If you don't know how to start a fire... Purify water, I say that a lot because them the main two survival skills your ass gonna need to know. If you don't know how to do stuff like this, your ass is grass. And I'm gonna keep telling people that because when is you gonna learn? When is you gonna go do the research? All right? Uh, Valentine's Day, bullshit. 
They are exploiting love. They're using love to make money. The thought of love, the thought of being in love, they're using that to make money, to buy, sh to sell shit. It's all about money. Notice that when them holidays come out, every single place of business uses the theme of the holiday to generate more energy, more currency. Why? <sighs> when is y'all going to learn, man? When is we going to learn? I'm going to say we because we all together in this shit. It ain't just me. It ain't, it ain't just me. It ain't just y'all. When is we going to learn? Learning is the only, not even just learning. When is we going to research? When is we going to want to learn? When is we going to try to learn on our own? Seek and you shall find. But we don't even care no more. I was listening to this song. And no disrespect to black youngster because I was listening to the song. Like, I'm listening to the motherfucking shit. So, I can't diss the nigga. I'm not trying to diss him. But anytime we big up somebody and... and and I wasn't even just listening to it, though. I was at the barbershop. Somebody pulled up listening to it. That's what it was. And we was laughing at the fact that the nigga said, I shoot your grandma in the back, ho. Her old ass should have never been in the way. That's the type of shit I really don't like, though. Like, it, I was laughing because he ignorant as fuck. But at the same time, we should be slapping niggas like that. Like, I, sh I don't give a fuck if you got a hundred goons with you, nigga. I'm going to die that day. Or... I shall, I'm going to leave it up to the ancestors and wipe your ass. They're going to wipe your ass away with a hurricane or a tornado that's going to hit your house, nigga. Your ass going to die a horrible death every lifetime your ass get on this. Every time you incarnate to this motherfucker, it's going to be worse and worse. Every lifetime you have, it's going to be worse. Next time your ass is born, you're going to get raped by your daddy or some crazy shit. I'm, I'm talking about just, just crazy. Anything worse than me whooping your ass or me dying for you saying you're going to shoot somebody's grandma in the back. It, I'm just saying, like, nigga, oh, shit, you scared? Fuck that, nigga. We supposed to be slapping niggas that's saying stupid shit like that. Yeah, I said, nigga, it's, it's, uh, it's niggas in the city right now that, that that's killing niggas' grandmas. I, them niggas should be dead. Why is we allowing this shit? We allow fuck shit within our own community. So we we don't, we don't we, we really like, ain't shit, bro. The only, the only niggas that's out here right now is the niggas that's, e you either know how to stay out the way you a mastermind. You a genius, and you know how to not you know how to not get arrested and not be seen. You know what I'm saying? Or you a fuck nigga, and you know how to stay out the way. Meaning you know how to just just be a, a, a Uncle Tom because you're either Uncle Tom or you ain't going. That's my only two categories. You either a coon or you not. Uncle Tom, I ain't no disrespect to Uncle Tom, no disrespect to no, any coon, but fuck y'all. For real, fuck that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's cool. I don't think... No, nah, I don't think it's cool. I think we should have all... I right, look. I, I'm just going to use slavery for that small... Pound, I'm going to use that small period of time as an example. I think that it was either... It was niggas that died, okay? It was slaves that was like, man, you got me fucked up. It was motherfuckers who wasn't even enslaved because they wasn't going. You get what I'm saying? Like, think about that real quick. They get there, then they try to enslave motherfuckers. They had to kill certain niggas. They had to kill certain niggas. Certain niggas wasn't going. Certain Indians wasn't going. They had to kill certain them. The other ones was going. Right now, some of y'all is going. And the other ones that ain't going, they either dead or in prison. So, the only ones that's free is niggas that's, that's going. So, we enslaved right now. My black ass talking shit right now on this camera. With on a YouTube page. A said he had. But I'm enslaved. I got an interview tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, but I'm working towards something. I'm not just blindly working. I'm not working to live. I'm working to get a passport to get the fuck up out of America for a short period of time because I'm coming back because this is my shit for real. I just want to tour the world. I want to get the fuck away for a couple of years because I know what's going to happen and I'm coming right back. That's all. And, and, and I ain't on no nature boy shit. You know what I'm saying? Not just to mention his name, but... I'm not trying to go to Costa Rica or South America and just duck the fuck up. No, I'm not trying to do that. That was my plan until he did it. <laughs> I don't want to do it now. I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I don't want to go there now just because of that reason right there. Because there's other Amazons. There's other jungles. There's other rainforests. Do you know how big the rainforest is? Do you know how big the Amazon is? I don't have to just go to Costa Rica. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to go there. But... My whole my whole point is not to get off subject. I'm working towards something, and 
you we all in the same position. You know what I'm saying? And your best bet is to realize that you're going. And our ancestors didn't go. And the ones that did go, sad to say they was coon ass niggas. We we can't be coons, fam. Let's 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 start the motherfucking revolution, evolution. Let's start the Armageddon. Let's start Apocalypse. Let's start Revelations. Let's 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 start the shit. It's already they trying to force it. We the other half of it. I'm done talking. Claim claim your nationality. Go find it. Find what's your nationality? If you say black or African American, I slap the fuck out of you. I'm, I'm and it's just plain and serious. Fuck. Open your mind up. You're not black. You're not African American. And for the niggas that do got African in them, I'm not talking to you African niggas that came here or or or, or niggas that descended from people that actually moved here from Africa. I'm talking to the indigenous, original people of the land, copper toned people of the land. If you call yourself white, Slap yourself. If you Caucasian and you European and you call yourself white and you don't got a billion dollars, slap yourself. And, and, and I say that for Dick Gregory. May he live an everlasting life. Shout out to the ancestors. But I'm done talking shit, y'all. Just know, man, don't, don't blindly celebrate these holidays. Do not do it. Stop going. Stop going. Black Friday coming up. Oh, y'all want to buy some George for cheap, don't y'all? Oh, y'all want to buy a bunch of shit for cheap, don't y'all? I already know. I already know. All that damn energy, they're going to be all... Look, uh, you know how hard y'all finna work to make sure y'all got some money to spend on Black Friday? All that currency they getting built up, man. Y'all just... Y'all making decisions. Yeah, got that shit that you should listen to. Fuck the fake shit. Greatness is what I'm giving you. 